Hey guys and welcome to day nine, the penultimate day of Blessed to be at Home. I really, really hope that you've all loved the Blessed to be at Home challenge so far. I definitely have loved making it. So it just feels crazy that we're already on day nine. But thank you to each and every one of you that is taking part and sharing and tagging me on Instagram to connect. It's been amazing. So thank you. Today is going to be all about strong arms and we will actually focus a little bit on the shoulders as well because they're an important, very important part of our upper body. So whenever you're ready, hop on the mat. It's going to be a quick and sweaty one and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So we're gonna start out today in our child's pose. So if you wanna take big toes together to touch, knees out wide or together, up to you. Start to walk your hands out in front of you, relaxing your elbows down, forearms down, and then resting your head down on the ground. Starting to settle into the mat beneath you, maybe gently rocking your forehead from side to side, start to massage, that area where your third eye is between the eyebrows. And just start to breathe, breathing deeper than you normally would, filling the body with fresh oxygen and breathing out all those toxins, all that carbon dioxide. Inhale, feel the fresh air, fill the lungs. And as you exhale, releasing all the carbon dioxide, the toxins, all the bad. Breathe in the good. Exhale the bad. And then as you inhale, I want you to lift your forehead away from the floor. Lift your elbows up off the floor. We're gonna take a gentle twist over to the left. So thread your arm through the gap in the left side. Turn your face to the side, rest your head, rest your shoulder down. Really letting that weight fall through your shoulder so you get a nice stretch. Deep breath in, deep breath out. As you inhale, coming back to center, right hand to the mat, left hand threads through the gap in the right side, looking over to the right. Relax your head, relax your shoulder to the floor. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Holding for one more breath. And then coming back up to center, we're gonna slowly walk our hands back towards us. And then taking your knees together if they're not already, just wiggling them so that they're hip distance apart, thighs hip distance apart. And then begin to slide your hands along your mat, start to slide your chest forwards, coming up out of your hips into your puppy pose. Relaxing your chest towards the ground, looking forwards. I told you at the beginning of this challenge there was a lot of puppy poses. I don't know why. Clearly I'm in need of some heart opening. And then once you've rested your forehead down to the ground, we're going to take palms together to touch. And I want you to draw your thumbs to the back of your neck or at least try to and really press your chest down towards the ground. And as you do this, you should feel a nice stretch through the triceps. Deep breath in, really sending your weight backwards, feel that stretch through the triceps. So the more you almost resist that sitting towards the heels, the more you'll feel the stretch through your triceps. 
One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then dropping palms back to the floor. Lift your head. Weight into forearms. We're going to start to slide ourselves forwards. Weight into the belly and the chest. Keeping hands where they are, so slightly in front of your shoulders. As you inhale, I want you to lift up into almost like a cobra type position, elbows away from the floor, squeezing your bum. As you exhale, try to lower back down. Inhale, slowly rising up. Exhale, dropping down, forearms down, chest lowers. Inhale to lift, exhale, slowly lower. We start to get a little bit of warmth through the biceps. Two more. Inhale, lift, keep your shoulders down your back. We don't want any of this. Exhale to lower, squeezing your bum the whole time. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Really nice, taking hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to push ourselves all the way back, sitting towards our heels, and then slide your hands towards you, coming to sit onto your heels. Taking your hands out in front of you, I'll turn to face you so you can see me. You want to have your hands out in front of you, relaxed shoulders, and I don't know if you've seen maybe one of my tutorials before, but this is a way I like to build strength through the wrists and the forearms. So we're going to start to blink our hands, flashing your fingers, I hope you can see, and really start to blink them or flash your hands as fast as you possibly can. Keep going. I know it starts to feel a little bit weird. Keep going. We're building that heat in our forearms, and I'm going to count down from 10. We go 10, 9, 8, 7, keep going fast, 5, 4, keep going, 3, 2, 1, and relax, shake it out. So you might even feel it through the top of your arm here, maybe even in your forearm, but just wiggle it out. This is such a great and easy way to build a little bit of strength in that area. So staying at the back of your mat, I want you to come down into your child's pose. We're going to do our tricep push-up to child's pose. And what you'll find is that moving between these movements actually gives you a little bit of momentum to get lower into the tricep push-up. I'll show you one first. As you inhale, you're going to lift up lower halfway and as you exhale press back trying to keep your shoulders out of your ears core is engaged we'll go together inhale lift up halfway exhale press back good rock forwards halfway press back three more forwards lower and back and you want to get your chest nice and forwards brushing your elbows by your ribs, press back, try and keep your core turned on, halfway, press back, one more, inhale, halfway, exhale, press back, really nice, tuck your toes under, we're going to lift up and back to the downward facing dog, hips up nice and high, press your chest back, maybe taking a few pedals through your legs, if you would like to. And then bending into both knees, I want you to walk your hands back towards your feet, walking it back. As you inhale, sit your bum low, reach your arms forward, keeping your biceps in line with your ears. Sit nice and low and reach forwards. Your chest and belly can rest on your thighs if it can. If not, just reaching, looking down, don't look forwards. And then as you inhale, big sweep up, look up. And as you exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, sweeping up nice and tall. 
As you exhale, we're gonna bend our knees, coming down the same way we came up. Hips draw backwards, reach your arms forwards, look to the floor. Building that strength. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, breathe in, reach forwards like you're trying to touch the top of the mat. And as you exhale, drop your fingers down, crawl all the way forwards to the top of the mat, high plank. Now either taking a full chaturanga to up dog, if you know what that is, go for it. If not, we go knees, lower down to our belly and chest. As you inhale, cobra. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, hips up nice and high. Now looking forwards to the top of the mat, I want you to see if you can lift your right fingers, right hand away from the floor. Keep pressing your weight back with this left arm. As you exhale, right hand down, switching sides. If you need to bend your knees, please feel free. Left arm reaches forwards. You can do it. Exhale, left fingers down. Stepping forwards with the left toes. Look forwards. And as you inhale, keep your chest low. Reach your fingertips forwards. As you exhale, reach back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, reach back. One more. Reach forwards. Keep your arms in line with your ears. Exhale, reach back. And now as you breathe in, drop your knee down. Lift your chest, low lunge. Ooh. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, turn your palms away from each other and take your arms to a T-shape. We're gonna start to draw tiny circles with our hands. Tiny circles, building up the heat. Breathing in, breathing out. Get faster, breathe in and out. One more this way, breathe in and out. Switching ways, circles backwards, it feels weird. Go for it, two more breaths, breathe in, breathe out. Keep your shoulders down your back, one more. Breathe in, breathe out, and as you inhale, Reach your arms up overhead, hands down, frame your front foot. We're gonna tap the back toes, lift the back knee, and step our left foot back into downward facing dog. You're gonna love me now for this one. Again, if you need to and you've got tight hamstrings, please bend your knees here, okay? We're gonna do a down dog nose dive or push up. So I like to look forward, it helps me with my balance a little bit and you're gonna let your elbows come out to the side and try and dip your nose down between your um, thumbs and then press back up. Lower down, dip down, press up. Really good, two more. Lower down, press up. Ooh, one more. Lower and press up, really good. Look forwards. Now this time, right toes step forwards. As you inhale, reach your arms out in front of you. As you exhale, reach back. Inhale, in front, really reach. Activate the shoulders. Exhale, reach back. Last one, you can do it, reach forwards. Exhale, reach back. And as you inhale, left knee drops, untuck your toes, reach up to the sky. We're back to our circles, turn your palms away from each other, hands face down to the floor. Starting to circle forwards. Three breaths, little circles. Make them fast. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Back the other way, breathe in and out. Two more, you got it. Don't worry if you look silly, I do too. One more breath, breathe in and out. And as you inhale, reach up overhead. 
Exhale, hands come down, frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee and we step back into down dog. Big breath in, deep breath out. Gently dropping knees down to the floor, press back to your child's pose. Relax your head down. And with your arms, I want you to take them behind you, tops of the hands down into the mat, and really let your shoulders fall down towards your ears. Reconnect with the breath. When you feel ready, slowly starting to lift up, roll your shoulders up and back. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, one more. Really nice. Start to walk your hands out in front of you. We're going to come into a forearm plank. So forearms down to the ground, tuck your toes under and lift your hips so you're in one straight line, core engaged, really turn it on. Now, as you breathe in, I want you to lift your hips up high and start to walk your toes towards your face. You can have a really soft bend through the knees as long as you're pressing your chest back through your arms. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Either staying here or taking one breath with the left toes to the sky, press back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Left toes down, inhale, right toes lifted if you're lifting. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Really nice, bend both knees, take your knees down to the floor and take a moment in a child's pose with your toes tucked under because we're coming straight back to it. Inhale, pressing up to your dolphin pose, hips up nice and high. Three dolphin push-ups. Hips stay nice and high, knees bent if you need to. You're going to try and send your nose down between your thumbs, just like we did in down dog. Down, press back. Down, press back. So your weight comes forwards. One more, down, press back. Knees lower. Slide your hands back towards your knees. Sit towards your heels. You can untuck your toes now. And this time, shoulders up, roll them forwards. Shoulders up, roll them forwards. One more. Shoulders up, roll them forwards. Really nice. Give everything a bit of a shake in your arms. And then we're going to do a little bit of a stretch. So lift your right arm up towards the sky. Take your palm to your back and I want you with your left hand to hold the top of your elbow and gently press down really lightly. As you do this, try to keep your ribs tucked in and keep opening your elbow backwards. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more in and out and then taking your left hand all the way back this time the back of your hand touches your back so not your palm this is the back of your hand and you're going to see if you can try and take your fingers together to touch like so hope you can see past my ponytail if you can't you're going to try your very best to work them together maybe if you have a strap or a tie or a towel, even your jumper somewhere near, you can hang it down your back and just creep the bottom hand up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Keep opening this top elbow backwards. One more breath. Really nice. Releasing. 
take a moment and then we switch. Left palm to your back, left elbow to the sky, we gently, gently press down. I Honestly, I have to stress gently, not too much force. Pressing down and slightly up and back. Pressing. One more breath. And then when you're ready, guiding your right hand to your back, back of your hand touches. This is my tougher side, I can never get it. I'm not gonna get it today. So seeing if you can lift your head up to normal, so you're not backing down, lift your head, really work your fingers together, chest in, don't let it puff out. My right shoulder is so tight. Stay with the breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last one. Gently, gently release. Really take it slow. Give everything a nice shake out. So last stretch we're gonna do is just a quick upper body, strong arms flow today. We're gonna take our right arm across our body, left arm hooks over it, so fingertips towards the sky. Really hook your upper right arm into your elbow crease and then gently start to pull across. You don't really wanna move your upper body here, you just wanna be moving your arm across you. And it can feel like a really nice stretch through this right shoulder. Deep breath in. Exhale, pull across. One more deep breath in. Exhale, pull across. Really nice. Open up your arms back, lift the chest. And as you exhale, other side. So left arm across you, right arm lifts up and hooks it in. And you want to get that front elbow crease right into the upper arm and start to pull across you to your right. Pulling that left arm across. Try not to rotate the chest too much. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more breathing in and out. Release, take your hands down by your side, open up the chest, and as you exhale, letting your hands graze your thighs, rest them down, close off the eyes, inhale, squeeze your shoulders up to your ears, and as you exhale, roll them down, this time rolling them up and back, up to your ears, exhale, roll them forwards, Drop down, really nice. Taking a moment now to come back to the breath. Deep inhale in. And as you breathe in, I want you to feel your chest expand. And as you feel your chest expand, visualize the breath traveling to both sides, right and left, all the way down your arms. As you exhale, feel the air being pulled from your fingertips all the way up the forearms, up the upper arms, back into your chest and out through the mouth. Inhale, fill up the lungs, fill up the chest space, send the breath out to your arms, all the way down to the fingertips. And as you breathe out, feel that air being pulled up from the fingertips, up the arms, into the chest space, and being breathed out. Now as you breathe in, sweep your arms up overhead, palms together to touch. As you exhale, hands to heart center, press your thumbs into your heart space. And as always, really take this time to thank yourself for coming to practice today, for moving in maybe a new way that you haven't before and for honoring your body enough to give it strength just by taking really simple movements through the body. Let's bow our heads, bow our chest. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste.
Thank you so much for coming to this short and sweet little practice today. It's definitely gonna help you build up that upper body strength in your practice, and it will definitely help us tomorrow for our final day of Blessed to be at Home. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's gone this quickly. How is it even possible? And tomorrow is the day I've been looking forward to the most because it's full of fun, energy, different kind of things, putting yourself upside down. So it will still be open to all levels. I will give the necessary cues and adjustments. So I will see you on the mat tomorrow for our final day, day 10 of Blessed to be at Home. Love you all and have a great rest of your day. Mwah.